Welcome to an interesting video. I normally don't do these type of videos, but I'm trying some different stuff here because a product video sometimes takes a while and I don't want to rush the next video. So I want to do some short topic videos that is interesting. So if you guys like this video after watching it and find it interesting, let me know because I, I might do some more of these from time to time. So today's video is about the Steam release and how it can potentially boost the player base massively if we just take the right steps because there are some issues with it but there's a lot of opportunity with it so anyways runescape is now on steam both games and steam if you didn't know is a massive gaming platform where people can use it to find games and play games through it let me give you guys a glimpse of the possible growth of runescape because they decided to partner up with steam Let's look at this graph here, concurrent Steam users in the last 48 hours. So right now we have 19 million people logged in on Steam, right now. That's so many people, more than most countries, all right? So let's say we take 5% of that number. Somehow we capture those guys into playing the game, right? We would literally have doubled, more than doubled, the current player base concurrently. So the question would be, how do we attract new players? from Steam to check out RuneScape. Now, if you were a active Steam user checking out new games, you'd probably check out the top games list, right? From their website. Because that's just human nature. You probably wanna go with the biggest numbers. Now, how can we get RuneScape on the list here? And I actually have a really cool idea as to how we can do that. And the hurdle to getting the numbers up on the Steam site is the fact that well, the Steam client's kind of dookie, so you don't want to play RuneScape through Steam. Now, there's actually a way to solve that. So, I'll quickly show you how the Steam client works and show you the bare bonus of it. And then I'll show you how to run RuneLite on Steam or, you know, I guess any other third-party program. So, that way, you can become a part of this number and help promote RuneScape to the greater Steam uh, user base. Here's how to connect your RuneLite to your Steam so that way you can play on your RuneLite and still get the statistic added to the Steam user database so that way you can help promote the game. Alright, so on my library I already have RuneScape, so you don't want to click play just yet because it's going to go on your Steam clients. So you don't want that. Alright, we're going to right click the game. It'll have properties and you'll have this little general thing that shows up. And this is key. So this is where you customize where you launch the game. So you can actually customize it so that you launch Rune Lights. And it's actually really easy to do. So this line here, you just uh, copy and paste it. I'll have one in the description for you so that you can just do it yourself. Real easy. But yeah, uh, shout out to the right people here. Chow Jimbo and uh, Princey Peach and uh, Chowder Chow for actually uh, making this possible. Absolute geniuses. So we have Chow here originally showing us how to do it in a very like tech savvy way. Now, it's good and all, but uh, it's just a little bit too much work and you know, nobody wants to do that. So we have P Peach here that actually uh, made this a lot simpler. It's, it's just as simple as finding the right file path so that you can run it instantly by just uh, inserting the file path into the little general properties here of the launch options for RuneScape. And it's that simple, that's all you gotta do. Now the only uh, difficult part is finding your username for your PC because everybody's PC's username is different. So you gotta find yours. And luckily it's really simple. All you gotta do is go on your uh, PC, you know, Windows icon, whatever. And then you just search PC, you type PC, and then you right click properties, okay? This is an easy way to find out what your PC name is. And all you gotta do is put in that name and replace your name on the link. That's all you gotta do. If it says PC, don't add the PC part. Just add the, you see in this picture it says home PC, just add the word home and replace it from the your username part. And I'll show you now, I have it all set up. So I'm gonna click play. And just like that, the rune light is running. Again, just copy and paste the link, find your PC name, replace the your name part with your actual PC name. And let me log in to the RuneLite clients, so I can show you that everything's working as normal. Nani? Oh my god, I, I just put in the authenticator though. 
So as you can see, I'm back on the RuneLite client. Everything's working uh, as normal and all my settings are looking pretty good. And here's the cool part. So I'm gonna go on my little French chat thing and it'll show that I am currently playing old school RuneScape. So all your friends can actually see it. They might get curious and might check it out. But the main thing is the fact that it's registered into the Steam player account now. Alright, so we're on the Steam client now. I already kind of put in my credentials earlier. But the first issue I have already is the fact that when you log in, the client size will always uh, be a standard size. You can't like permanently keep it to the way that you want it. Unfortunately, so it'd be nice if there was a way to like customize, you know, your resolution because I was trying to get ready for some bossing, but another, you know, rough one is the fact that there's no tags, which makes doing certain activities slightly more annoying. Uh, this is the Steam client. It's pretty much vanilla RuneScape client. Nothing really too special. Uh, the frames, though, you do get better frames, apparently, but this game is obviously, uh, not a very graphic intensive game so you might not even notice obviously for stuff like raids uh, you wouldn't be able to scout so you know for uh, the more experienced players you definitely would find it uh, rather difficult so one of the features that they have for this client that is not vanilla is the fact that they uncap the FPS so it usually runs at 50 for old screen escape, but now it can run at like 100 plus there's no actual numbers for me to show you though but you can actually see that your character's movements and stuff is definitely smoother although RuneLight can already do stuff like that for you but I guess for a user that don't know about stuff like RuneLight they would probably like this uh, feature a bit and they also do have the UI scaling which I'll show you in a second here so that's kind of cool but yeah, as you can see, this client is pretty much uh, very bare minimum. It doesn't have a whole lot. It doesn't have potion timers, doesn't have buff timers, standard MMO stuff that new players, you know, would expect, but obviously does not have. They are also allowing for third-party support, so that means, like, players could make uh, plugins for this client, but again, who knows when people are going to start working on it, right? So as far as I'm concerned for now, it's pretty much not a very ideal client. But yeah, look at this right here. Uh, interface scaling. So basically, I can make the interface bigger. If I make this game incredibly huge. Okay, so yeah, let's you know use this as an example. Here's a giant screen. I'm full screening right now. So it goes to show how small I actually play the game. So this is how small I play the game. Versus what my screen size actually is. But yeah, let's blow it up to 400%. Oh, actually, 400% is still a little too big. But at least they, they did take care of this part, which is, you know really uh good oh wow just 200% would actually uh would actually basically make it work out pretty well okay you don't even have to go 400% I guess 400% is just to take care of people on like 4k monitors you guys be watching a movie basically playing RuneScape again I'm pretty certain that RuneLight already has the ability to do this as well in the uh, UI <laughs> feature I'm sure at this point I've convinced you that you probably don't want to play on this client if you can use stuff like RuneLight so Steam is huge, absolutely huge. Literally tens of millions of players are using this platform to play their games. And guess what happens if a lot of these guys are looking for new games to play, right? What do you do? Of course, you look for like the most popular stuff usually. And here's the statistics here on the most popular games that are run using the Steam uh, client. So we have Counter-Strike, of course. This is what made Valve... Uh, Steam client pretty much famous. I'm pretty sure the original at number one. Okay, and yeah, Valum, uh, which is new game number two makes sense. Dota, Rust, Team Fortress. But anyways, here's the current players and peak today for these games. So the most played is 557,000 right now at around 6 p.m. for Counter Strike, and their peak was 1 million players. Uh, and of course, Valheim was 300,000, Dota was 283, so the concurrent players are more important. 109,000 for Rust, 100,000, 104,000 for Team Fortress. So, right around here is where Old School RuneScape is at right now, in terms of current player base, I'll show you. Right now, we're at 96,000 players, so that would put us here easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We would be 7th place already. 7th place already. If we somehow got everybody to play RuneScape through Steam. 
But of course, you don't want to do it through the Steam client. For a lot of us, we want to use the RuneLite client because here's why. Here's RuneLite, you know, the official website. Here's how many people have RuneLite open right now. 124,000. All right, that's crazy. And here's how many people are playing the game right now with RuneLite. 60,000. That's two-thirds of the entire game player base right now. Two-thirds. All right, so if we can somehow port 60,000, even 60,000 people <laughs> from RuneLite into Steam, we would already still be in the top 10, right? It's like, it's insane. Just think about that, right? We have Steam where millions of players, literally millions, most recent 48 hours, man, they had 25 million players online. <laughs> online, dude, 25. And at the worst was still 17 million. It's actually nuts. You know how many people that is, right? Like, if they look at these top 10 games and don't see RuneScape, what's what's gonna happen, right? You just missed out. We just missed out on that marketing opportunity. And it's so easy for us. Just, just to be able to connect RuneLight on Steam or connect whatever, you know, third-party client you were using, like OSBuddy or whatever. And it'll actually count towards this, right? It'll put, put it in the top 10, right? We'll get so many more people checking this game out. Honestly, for sure. So that's how important it is, if we can actually do this, if we can even get like, I don't know, if we can get even half of what I was saying, you know, we'd still be in like the top 20 easily. Look at this. If you go down past top 10, most of the concurrent players are only in the 30,000s. Like we're, we're literally so close to some easy marketing. We just need people to get on board and just run their, you know, their client on Steam. It's just that simple. It, it took me literally two minutes to set this up no joke, two minutes, guys. So, yeah, just think about that, guys. Just think about it. It is so good if we can actually all do this. All help out a little bit, right? Just a little bit more effort.